Hey everyone, welcome to this free mini tutorial on Canva. This is Lisa from Sweet Paper Studios. I am a Canadian based Stephen Up demonstrator um, and I am an avid Canva user. So I thought I would just pop on and do a quick video tutorial on how I do some of my graphics. Um, I do get asked often. Um, how I put together my graphics for my Stephen Up business and I re really think it could be a valuable tool so I thought I'd do this quick uh, tutorial for other Stephen Up um, demonstrators and you know yourself if you happen to be in this um, uh, line of business or just any other business owner or small business owner who happens to be exploring Canva at uh, this current time. It's an invaluable tool in my opinion and uh, I'm so excited to show you a quick tutorial. So we can go start by going ahead to Canva website and um, I am already logged in so um, if you don't already have a Canva account you can sign up for free. Um, I should point out that I am a paid uh, monthly subscriber for Canva because I like some of it to access some of the t additional tools such as more graphics, more fonts, um, and stuff like that. So um, I do pay monthly to use the additional features. Um, this is just an expense for, for my business. Um, I'm investing in my business when I do this absolutely you know you don't have to do this um, but I use it so much and I f really feel like I'm getting good value for what I'm getting so um, I choose to pay the monthly fee um, so when you log into Canva you are automatically brought to this beautiful page um, and you're ready to just dive right in and create a design um, so if you scroll down you have this uh, create a design that's right there for you whether it be a poster, a Facebook post, a postcard, you know Pinterest graphic if that's something you use in your business, you know an Instagram post or just a random social media icon. Um, the templates are there and ready for you to use. Um, you can also come up here and go to create a design and you have some of the those same items here with additional ones as well. Um, but for today's tutorial, let's stick with a Facebook post. I think a lot of us definitely demonstrators have Facebook pages and whatnot. Um, and if not, we just share it to our personal page. Um, so this is great. So this is automatically sized for a Facebook post and all of those other templates are automatically sized um, to what they're for. So Instagram posts will be a nice fit if you use the Instagram template. Now, when you do that, you can create, you could start blank and create your own um, elements, your own graphic, or you can really dive into some of the free templates that Canva offers, which is one thing I really love about this tool. Um, so they have different uh, categories. So if you're doing a sale, um, if you're thinking about Halloween and, and you know want to put out some graphics there, and if you want to base it on food or birthday posts, you know, summer, you got all of these templates here um, for your choosing. And if it's a free template, it will say that right in the corner when you hover over it. It will, you'll get that free icon right there. If it doesn't um, have that free icon, it usually means that there is additional cost to use either that graphic or um, or something other additional that is part of that. Um, template. Um, so if, if you're just having the free version, you just want to make sure that you're choosing um, the ones that are free. Um, but the ones, if you do want to invest in maybe a little bit of money, some of them only cost one or two dollars. If you just really love that graphic and you, you know you've really got to have it, um, it's very minimal cost for to use one template, usually around one to maybe three dollars. Um, um, but if you don't want to do that, just pick a free template and you'll see the free icon. So why don't we, I know I am thinking about my Christmas classes already, so I will just search Christmas. And then you'll get these, all of these beautiful templates that just pop right up. And, you know, based on what your, you know, what your site colors are, what your branding colors are, um, you can choose one of these templates. Um, so let's just choose this one because it's really cute with these little Santas. So you can actually just use this graphic as is. If you want to do that, you can click on this little download icon and you can download right away. Um, you can check 
uh, select your file type here. Usually if I'm sharing it as a photo, I'll leave it in PNG because it is a suggested and it will provide you with a high quality image that you can use on your Facebook uh, page. Um, but if you want to change the text, change the colors, you also have that ability as well. So you can click on the area you want to change. For example, I clicked on this background here. If you're maybe not that, um, don't want that color green and you want to, you know, make it, you know, if you want to make it to match your branding or if you want to, you know, do stamping on colors, um, you can find your files and I'll just pull up my stamping up folder here in my business files and I will find the new hex values. So you can pull up your color chart and you know I want to change this to garden green so I'm going to copy and paste that hex number there and come and change this color by clicking first you have to click in this box and then it will show you the color here this is where you can change the background color so you can go add a new color and then just paste that hex value right there and press enter and then you've just changed this background color to match your garden green color uh, for Stampin' Up. So another valuable tool, so if you haven't already downloaded the color chart, this is available on the demo website for Stampin' Up. You do have to be a Stampin' Up demonstrator in order to access this, um, although some people do share it on their blogs. Um, if you want more info on becoming a demonstrator, you can visit my website at sweetpaperstudios.com. Just a little plug there. <laughs> um, and you can also change you know, these boxes, these text boxes as well. So if I wanted to match it up, maybe um, I love Garden Green and Cherry Cobbler together. So I'll come and grab that and just change that the same way. Beautiful. Look at that right away. And you can change the font if you like. If you click on the text box, um, you can come up here and they have fonts, a bunch of fonts available. You'll notice that some of these have uh, the icon of a crown that's a, for they're only available to Canva, Canva Pro users um, so that's if you pay for the monthly service so I'm as a pro user and able to use this these additional fonts that are there for the pro users um, but you can really choose any font that you like I really like the hello sunshine marker And you can change this bottom text to have a happy, you know, have a jolly Christmas, you know, from Sweet Paper Studios. Just, you know, watch your spelling. <laughs> and there you go. So I'm happy with this graphic and I now I'm ready to download it. And so you go to this download button and click download. And it's usually super quick. Um, so then you can come over here and open that up and then you have this beautiful high quality image and then you can just save it wherever you happen to store your files, your graphics files. And you know, just as a tip, you want to make sure that you save it in a name that you'll know you'll be able to remember and find it. And I usually add the year because I like to make sure I change it up every year. And then you can go ahead and save that. Okay. Now you can continue editing this design or you can go back to your home page. If you can go back to your home page, you could start designing another graphic. Or you can go back and view all of your designs. And you could see that I really am a heavy user of Canva. <laughs> um, so you could do this for... For anything as I said they have different um, elements here and what I really like is that um, you can go back and view your past designs um, say I wanted to go and click on this one you can go ahead and view your past designs and then you can edit your past designs and then resave it and then it will Campbell will resave it as a as a new design back on your home page. 
So you really just, it's very easy. Um, one thing I will show you too is if you wanted to upload your own images. So Stampin' Up! does provide us with catalog images to use. Um, these are available on the demo website as well. This is an awesome resource to take advantage of because they, you know, they're providing it to us as a service and something that we can really use in our business. So once you do click on that Facebook pose, uh, post template, you can come over here to upload and then you can choose an image you want to upload. So whether it be um, images that you've taken yourself, like I have here for, for blog purposes, or you can upload an image from Stampin' Up. So you can go upload image and I'm going to come here and find my catalog images. Sometimes, you know, it's hard to remember <laughs> where they are. Um, here they are, 2019 holiday images. And just wait a second for those to load. And then you can choose one that you would like to base a class off of or um, that you just want to use um, as a background image. So I'll just choose this one. And so it's just uploading to see that sign there. Okay, so it's ready. So you can just click on that and it will put it here. But I'm just going to delete that. Or you could just drag it over and put it right in, in there, right in the template as a background. You double click it and you can, you know, resize it or move it around you know, do all that fun stuff to just get it where you would like it to be. So I'm pretty happy with this. So this image is from the Feels Like Frost Suite. Um, beautiful, gorgeous image. And if you were to maybe want to do a graphic and center your class around that, you can really add different elements to get this graphic to where you want it to go. So um, on the side here, you'll see photos, elements, text, and background. This allows you to add or change things to your template. So if you were to go to elements, one of the things I like to do is add in a box, a rectangle box on my templates. And then I usually change that to white. Okay. And then I'll click back and then I usually like to make that transparent. So this icon here is for transparency. So I like to make it a little bit transparent. You can see a touch of the background. And then I'll go ahead and add in some text. So if you click on text, you can add a heading. Um, and it automatically adds in black font. And you can see that I just put feels like frost card class. And then I put it over this white box that we've added. You'll notice that um, Canva also adds guides. So you, this line in the center here will tell you, that pops up, will tell you when it's in the center. So you want to make sure that's a, a nice feature, make sure that's in the center. Now this font is a little bit too big, so I'm going to resize it a little bit. And you can play around with how big or small you want it. And I'm going to change this font just to something, I'm just, for the purpose of this, I'll just stick with something generic. I try to pick font that is easy for my customers to read and for new people to read. So it feels like font, uh, Frost card class. And then I'm going to go ahead and add more text, but this time I'm going to add a little volume of text. You could say Saturday, September 14, 2019. You can drag that down and you can make it bigger by just dragging the box too. And instead of adding a new box, you can come up here and click copy and it will copy that text box again. And if you were to double click in it, and get rid of those, that text, you can put, you know, 7 to 10 p.m. You know, and then you can add your other details that you want, um, such as an email or your blog address or where they can register. 
um, your contact information and then you're ready to go that's that's a nice pretty graphic um, you don't need to do be too fussy with these because honestly the, the images provided by Stepin Up are beautiful enough um, for you to create these graphics so that I'm happy with this as a template and then I will go ahead and download that And then I will usually use this graphic on my website or I will use it on my Facebook event page. And just look how pretty, I'm just going to close this for a second. And just look how pretty this is. And it looks professional and it's something that you have just created. Um, so awesome. <laughs> and you can go back to your home page and then you can work on your next graphic for your other class. Um, so I really hope this was helpful to you. Um, Canva is an invaluable tool. So I hope I was able to show you some basics. And I thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you want to subscribe to my newsletter, I'm hoping to offer some more uh, online tech training, um, behind the scenes training to stand up demonstrators. If you're interested, you can sign up for my newsletter at sweetpaperstudios.com. And if you're interested, if you're not a demonstrator and interested about learning more about Stampin' Up, you can also visit um, sweetpaperstudios.com. Or you can find me on Facebook and Pinterest and Instagram under the same name, Sweet Paper Studios. And my name is Lisa Hardy, and thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if I can answer any questions, you can comment below on this video, and I would be happy to answer them for you. So thanks so much, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye!